Welcome back to Ocean Echoes, North Carolina Shipwreck Chronicles. I'm Callum, Ubi X for Sale Chronicler. The shipwrecks off the coast of North Carolina tell incredible stories of bravery, survival, and the harsh realities of war. Among these wrecks is the ex-USS Tarpon, a submarine that served during World War II before meeting its final resting place beneath the waters of Cape Hatteras. This story traces the fascinating journey of the tarpon from its active duty to its sinking while exploring the rich marine life that now surrounds its wreck. Launched on September 4, 1935, and commissioned in 1936, the tarpon operated out of San Diego and Pearl Harbor before moving to the Philippines. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, it was among the submarines sent on their first war patrol. Despite initial challenges such as firing torpedoes without confirmed sinkings and being hit by depth charges, the tarpon continued its missions, facing mechanical issues and enemy threats along the way. The tarpon saw significant action during its patrols, including its successful attacks on Japanese ships. One notable engagement occurred in 1943 when it sank the German Raider Michel, marking the first time a U.S. submarine sank a German ship in the Pacific. The Tarpon's wartime efforts earned it seven battle stars for its service. The Tarpon's later patrols involved lifeguard duty and reconnaissance, particularly in the truck area, where it monitored enemy activity and photographed atolls. In 1944, after completing its final wartime mission, the submarine was ordered back to the East Coast. It was decommissioned on November 15, 1945, and later served as a Naval Reserve training ship. In 1957, while being towed to be broken up for a scrap, the Tarbon sank off the coast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Its legacy lives on beneath the ocean surface, where it serves as both a historic shipwreck and a vibrant marine ecosystem. The Tarbon stands as a testament to the bravery of its crew and the powerful forces that shape both naval history and the underwater world. Resting at a depth of 135 feet, the hull of the Tarbon sits upright with a slight tilt to port. The wreck site is teeming with marine life, Typical of the subtropical ecosystem in the area, coralline algae have heavily encrusted the submarine, creating a haven for sea anemones, corals, and other cynodarians. Divers visiting the wreck often encounter sand tiger sharks, which make for dramatic photography subjects, providing an unforgettable experience for both history and marine life enthusiasts. The XUSS Tarbon is a lasting symbol of bravery and history resting beneath the waters of Cape Hatteras. Once a vital submarine in World War II, it now serves as a vibrant underwater ecosystem. Its story, from wartime service to its final resting place, continues to inspire and connect us to the past, merging Thank the history you for nature. joining me on this journey through the history of shipwrecks. We hope you found this episode both fascinating and moving. Join us again next Saturday as we continue to uncover more stories of sunken ships and maritime mysteries. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on our latest episodes. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the depths of history.